Hello guys, today I want to quickly show you one new feature in Cursor 2.0, which is Cursor Browser. So you can click here in the new chat and for example, choose Browser tab and open some URL. For example, I've opened my local Laravel daily test page, which is a regular browser. But this is not the cool thing. The cool thing is that you can select the element that you want to change somehow and you may or may not know what is the code behind that element, where can you search for it, maybe you're not a developer of that particular feature, and for example, you can select element and then you navigate wherever you want, for example, you click here, welcome back, and then it is identified as h1, and this is not in the code base yet. So it's searching for that h1 in HTML, and for example, let's prompt for make this text uppercase, use sonnet by default, and then it will try to search your code base, which in, in this case, PHP and Laravel in my case. So it found several files with h1 tag with that specific welcome back, and it will change the code and change the text in HTML version in that project and in the blade file of Laravel. So it made the changes and now in the browser on the left, if you refresh, the changes are applied. This goes kind of in the direction of vibe coding in a way, but you may use it as a developer actually understanding the code, just a quicker way to reference some part of the page, especially for example, if you're a backend developer and not sure how to fix something on the front end, then instead of prompting like on the login page, there is a text and then change something in that text of heading, you can now actually show visually to cursor point it to the specific element and then the prompt will try to be translated into your specific code base. And features like this one, in my opinion, will keep cursor on top of most used AI agents. After cursor version 2 was released, I see a lot of people coming back from Cloud Code or Codex CLI. Despite cursor being more expensive, it's really convenient as IDE for developers with a lot of extra features now. What do you think about Cursor? Are you using that or are you a fan of CLI agents? We can discuss that in the comments below. And if you want to regularly find out about new features in those IDEs, I have a newsletter which I send every Wednesday. So here's the look at the tweets and posts from the community with my own comments about new stuff in AI coding. So I will link that in the description below. Subscribe to this free newsletter. I send that every Wednesday. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.